This video shows some of the things that make Shane Van Boning one of the greatest breakers in the world. First of all, he aims the shot as carefully as any other really important pull shot. The most important attribute of a good break is getting a square hit on the lead ball. This is a nine ball break, so Shane doesn't need full power, but in general, you should only use as much power as you can control. Here, Shane is breaking from the side to reliably pocket the wing ball in the corner. He is also playing for position on the one ball, which heads up table. That was a good break. He made the wing ball in the corner as expected. He also made the five in the side and the seven in the corner. These balls often have the tendency to drop with a good side nine ball break. Shane hit the one ball slightly to the left of square to play position for the one next, which heads toward the corner. There are several things Shane does to help create controlled power. For one, he chokes up on the grip. This helps put the shoulder and elbow into stronger positions during the stroke into the ball. He also lifts his body before the final forward stroke. This, in combination with the choked up grip, allows him to create more leverage with more distance from the shoulder to the grip. Notice how he has the cue as level as possible during the forward stroke into the ball. This limits how much the cue ball hops on the way to the rack. Also notice how he moves his entire arm, flexing and dropping the elbow together to generate more power while keeping the cue moving as straight as possible. He also has a complete and straight follow through with good acceleration into the ball. Notice how the tip contact point is slightly above center. The slight topspin helps the cue ball slow after bouncing back from the rack. Here's the entire stroke again in super slow motion. Much more break technique advice and many more demonstrations can be found on the Break FAQ page at billiards.colostate.edu.